I was hoping when we put this on the agenda that I would have had a chance to speak to DRA in regards to the tax rate setting. However, I have not. Um, but I worked today and the end of last week to come up with some of my, usually when I sit before you, I've spoken to DRA, but I've also calculated what my estimate of the municipal portion of the tax rate is, which I have done. Yeah. And it is looking, these are only estimates I want to reiterate over and over again to everyone because I haven't spoken to DRA. We still have to do revenue. She hasn't given me the rooms and meals tax revenue number. And I was talking to Fred earlier today. We're also still waiting, I think I said, on two um, water pollution uh, grant money that comes in from the state yearly, too, that we haven't seen. And Fred and I couldn't recall if that was in their budget or not. But I'm hoping it is because we've gotten two since their budget, since the state's budget passed. But as of right now, I have the municipal rate with the new property valuation coming in at $5.89, which is down from the $6.27 huh. for 2018. So that's good news in the sense that we always like to see it go down. I know the board has set it as their goal to keep it at least level if they have to use unassigned fund balance to do that. Um, in this situation, we are below. So I guess before you guys tonight, um, if we want to have a tax rate prior to your next meeting, I don't know if you guys are comfortable taking some actions. I'm hoping to hear from DRA within the next day or so. The things I, I need to know, a couple of things from the board first. Do we want to use any of the unassigned fund balance to offset the tax rate? If you guys would like to hear all the numbers in regards to that, I have my best projections on the unassigned fund balance at this time and a breakdown of the hmm. amounts that DRA likes you to have retained a fund balance. I also yeah, we would like that. Okay. So um, you have the MS 535 from the audit and the unassigned fund balance at the, as of 1231 was 8 million eight hundred and fifty nine thousand seven hundred and thirty four dollars of that in March the um, voters approved five hundred and eighty one thousand two hundred and seventy three dollars in warrant articles from the unassigned fund balance so that would leave us with an end of year unassigned fund balance of eight million two hundred and seventy eight dollars two hundred seventy eight thousand four hundred sixty one dollars um, when we set the tax rate last year in 2018, we were at 10.72%, which was $7,079,477. 17% retained is $11,227,851. 10 10% is $6,604,619. And 8% is 5283695 dollars And that's for 2018. We've always liked to stay between like the 8 and 10%, I believe, has kind of been the goal that Fred and I have been comfortable with. So being at the 8278000 we're, you know, a little higher, but probably going to be right about that same 10% is where we were last mm -hmm. year. We won't know that once again until we get the tax rate. Mm -hmm. um, overall for the tax rate, my best guess, I don't have all of the um, mm -hmm. definite numbers from the schools, but I did talk to Nathan at SAU 90, so that's a larger portion mm -hmm. of the schools for Hampton. And my best estimate at this time is the tax rate will be right around 16, maybe slightly below that overall, without the precinct. The precinct is a separate one, and I don't have those numbers for sure, but I will say they do have all of their things, and because Steve was confirming that last week when I was at the budget committee and he they've turned all their documents in they're just not as easy for me to pull out on the DRA website I was trying to pull out as much information as I could so that I'd have numbers to give to you guys tonight in case you mm -hmm. did want to move forward and take some actions and so how that much could, how does that compare to last year the tax rate uh, last year it overall it was seventeen dollars and two cents and I have it right I have it just under 16 right now um, but like I said, my numbers for the schools haven't been yeah. confirmed, so I don't want to get everyone's hopes up, but I'm fairly, I think we're at least in that ballpark. And Fred, what, what is your suggestion? My suggestion, Mr. Chairman, is that we do not apply anything from the surplus to the tax rate, mm -hmm. but instead we fund articles necessary to 
to get down some of the $13 million worth of deferred maintenance Good. on our infra infra infrastructure system so that we can stop appropriating money mm -hmm. hand over fist to do these things off the tax rate. Good. And when will we be, when would we be in a position to do that? Well, we should be able to draft warrant articles for this meeting to expend funds to do that very function. So, like at what date do you think we'd be doing that? Well, I think we'll, we'll probably be able to do that sometime uh, late November, beginning of December, to get the warrant articles stretched out so that we know exactly where we're going. Mm -hmm. So do you think that this would um, help um, uh, <clears throat> defer, you know, make the tax, because there's so many people that have their increased evaluations. So do you think that this, is there any way to even this out a little bit so that people well we're al almost what was your estimate two dollars almost two dollars down the tax rate a dollar a little dollar, over a dollar a little over a dollar per, per thousand. thousand so that's what and how will that affect the people that are getting the that have increased evaluations <laughs> can you give us any info on it's that? like three because this is a big talking point yeah it's about three cents per hundred thousand dollars right now so depending on so if their evaluation went up by hundred thousand dollars or even two hundred thousand dollars that's about six cents and being a dollar just over a dollar it'll level it should level out fairly nicely i mean it depends on what their value went up but mm -hmm. on yeah. values between let's see yeah. three yeah i mean it would have to be several hundred thousand before it would have a large impact yeah. um mrs wolseley did you want to comment on this no Regina? i think this sounds i know it's i know it's just your right. estimates and I appreciate everything you've done and I also want to remind the public that the town portion is the only portion of the tax rate that this board has control over right. Right. and that's gone from 6.27 to your estimate is 589 589 so yeah. that's pretty and I'm good. hoping it'll be a little I'm hoping my estimates a little high because I don't have the rooms and meals I always lowball that number so mm -hmm. that could be another and 50, we appreciate so you like doing a that. penny and a half more you know I mean it's like and penny it was and a half, lower last year also wasn't it I, my estimate was a little over last year yes I think I, I estimated I, 632 last year and I think it came in at 627 but I mean uh, the town rate went down last year yes, yes. it did. just like yeah. it did this year correct it did go down yeah, this so year it'll be a more of a significant jump down though because this is mm -hmm. good you know okay. Mr. And, Waddell I oh. have another comment to make yeah. And also, um, I've talked to people whose tax valuations have increased substantially. And they've, you know, they've met with MRI and they had all their issues addressed. And while they're concerned that their taxes might go up, they also are very concerned with our infrastructure around here, except, yeah. except especially the roads and the yep. sidewalks. Yep. So I think if we can take Mr. Welch's recommendation, I think that will work out quite well Good. for... Hampton. Mr. Waddell? I agree with Fred. I, you know, I think the, the rate's gone down, which was good, and it went down for two years now. Evaluations went up, but then mm -hmm. you, your house is worth more than it was before. So if you sell it, you get more money. And uh, so, and I think it should go to infrastructure. I think we have a lot of infrastructure that needs yes. attention. Yep. So I agree 100% with the town manager. Yeah, and I feel um, similar. Um, and I just... Uh, was uh, out of state, and I'll tell you, the roads are bad everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to believe. As bad as they are here, they're not as bad as they are in some places. Uh, that's true. So we're looking forward to getting those type of things done. Did you want to continue? I have one more thing in regards to the tax rate. Oh. Um, it sounds like the board is wishing not to yes. use unassigned fund balance. Um, mm -hmm. The municipal aid, we received that last week. It was 116000 two hundred ninety nine dollars and thirty three cents it has two purposes it has it can have two purposes mm -hmm. one is to be used um, against the tax rate mm -hmm. or it can be used on a project of some sort the board would have to hold a public hearing and stuff but when I go to work with DRA to sec set the tax rate I do have to know what the board's wishes are with that hundred and sixteen thousand if it's to be expended on projects, I think that's how Fred and I are feeling that everyone's leaning, um, mm -hmm. or if it's to be used <coughs> to um, lower the taxes. So. Yeah, so you agree with that, Fred? I do, Mr. Chairman. We have sufficient funds with this money mm -hmm. to re uh, replace the sewer on Elaine. 
which uh -huh. needs to be done very badly. It's an old sewer line. It's an old um, Good. system that needs to be replaced because it's in disrepair. This would get that off of our docket. It's been something that's been held now for several years because other things have come up, but it needs to be done. Mrs. Wolseley? Excellent. Regina? Total agreement. Yeah, in effect, if you're, if you're doing it for infrastructure, you, you, you're putting it against the tax rate anyways because yes. that's going to come into the tax rate at some point if you don't do it. <coughs> right. That's correct. So, in effect, you are using it for the, for the mm -hmm. purpose that it is. I agree 100%. And I agree also. You need a motion on that? I was going to say, Fred, do we want a motion for them so that we can move forward and set the tax rate possibly this week? Uh, I think that would be a good idea. Okay. Yeah, we, we will use the funds for infrastructure improvement. Yeah, I'll and then no one, no one. I'll second that. All okay. in favor? Right. Unanimous. So I'll be here next week with the Public Works budget and my monthly financials, and hopefully at that time mm -hmm. um, I will have a tax rate for you guys to sign off on so we can move forward. And the tax collector will be happy, too. <laughs> I'm Chairman. here all night. Well, Mr. Chairman, well, <laughs> Christy is here. There's no sense in having her sit here forever. Can we I have to sit here anyway, budget? so. I have to sit here and watch all the other departments. Oh, all so right. Okay. I would recommend I save all mine till the end since I, I was going to speed you along. Thank you. 